Hi, East Brunswick. Welcome back to EBTV. My name is Lucy Aida. I'm here today for another segment to show you the continuation of a painting I've started before. Um, at first, I showed how to do simple clouds with two brushes. Then I showed how to do a, a simple uh, tree line and a um, pine tree with one brush. Now I'm going to add some grasses along the bottom and some highlights and maybe another big tree coming up coming up from the middle up to the top to give perspective. This way everything else will look in the back. So I have just a few colors on my palette today which I transferred from before so we don't want to waste paint. Um, these are oil paints and this is a wet on wet method where we continue to paint even while the uh, underlayer is still wet. I'm using a variety of brushes today. This brush happens to be a Wilson Bickford brush. He's a very well-known artist in upstate New York. And I use what I can that is mostly available in uh, local stores, the local craft stores. Brushes can be bought. The paints can all be bought in local craft stores. Some brushes are more specialized to the artist, and those have to be bought online. Yeah, I'm just loading my brush by pushing it into the paint. I'm putting quite a bit of paint on right now. And I want to make kind of a dark color. I'm adding a little brown in with it. So some brown and green. I'm going to be adding in the, the land mass and some grasses. So I'm going to hold on to my canvas here and just pushing the brush into the canvas. And you can see everything in the back of this brownish green color already looks like it's further in the back. And that's what we mean by perspective. We want everything to look in the back. We want to take this flat canvas and have it look 3D. So I'm going to continue along adding green and brown along this bottom. So I'm just going to hurry up. OK. I think I may stop right there. We have enough land mass here. I'd rather show you how to put in some highlights in some trees right now. So with my dirty brush I'm just gonna go right through the yellow. And I've already highlighted in the last segment these trees in the middle. So I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna lay some of this bright yellow on top and let it fade down. Now, usually I would mix a little white, but for the sake of time, I just want to show you how we're laying, how I'm laying the paint on, just so you get an idea. There we go. So, a little bit of highlight, and I could probably go into a little yellow ochre and come back into my brown. Just put a little yellow ochre here and there. I just want to show a little bit of perspective, a little bit of depth and texture. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something different. I'm going to put a big tree coming up on the right side of my canvas. And I'm going to take the brown, and I have a flat brush here. This is a number 10 flat brush. The brushes are numbered and named to make it easier for when you're looking for a certain brush. And I'm just coming through my dark colors here. Some green and brown. It's really the stroke that I'd like to show you. I'm not so much worried about the colors today. Okay. So I can start at the top on the chisel edge of the brush right here would be considered the chisel edge. And I'm gonna push, 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 push. I'm gonna push harder as I come down. This way that tree gets bigger on the bottom. Okay? Alrighty, so I'm gonna come back, go through my dark colors again, and and we can even branch off. And I'm just kind of pushing out some branches here and there. Now this is a simpler version of this painting. A lot of times I would take a different brush and I would take my time and make real thin detailed branches, but I just want to show you how easy it is just to get a simple tree on. Okay? So again, I'm using the chisel edge of the brush. And the chisel edge 
is easily chiseled just by pushing the brush back and forth. And here we go. Now, normally I would come back in, like I said, and make this a little darker, but just for the sake of a quick demo today, just want to show you how simple it is to use a small variety of brushes. So, what I will do is come back to my fan brush, which I didn't even clean, going right through my brown and green again. And I think over here I want to put just another little pine tree. And I'm using the side of the brush, tapping back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to bring it up a little different, different height, I should say. And I needed to make it darker because it was not showing up. So, turning my brush over again. And again, going to make it darker. There we go. See, I'm just turning that brush back and forth, trying to get some definition in that tree because I just wasn't getting it that first time around. Now, this large tree here, we can anchor this in just by tapping. Tap, tap, tap. And I can even come in and put in some leaves on the tree using the same dirty brush. All I'd have to do is, again, tap back and forth and make some, some believable leaf structures just by tapping. A little final touches. And there you have it. A nice wet on wet painting. So thanks for joining in to EBTV, and please come join me on Facebook at my site. And my site is Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting. Thanks again.